Hi, my name is Rusty Wright and I'm an Extension Specialist with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. And today we're going to talk to you a little bit about how to put together a fish attractor uh, that you can use in a, your local uh, pond, your home pond, and uh, that really helps bring in those fish, make them easier to catch. It's that time of the year, right after the Christmas season, when there's a lot of the live Christmas trees uh, that either weren't sold and are available at dealers, they're usually happy to get rid of them, or they're left over from people's homes. In either case, these, is a, these are a cheap way to put out uh, 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 attractors that can draw those fish in close to shore. So I'm going to show you some simple techniques, where to place them, how to attach the cinder block so that they don't uh, get away and uh, drift off around in the pond, and some other approaches that we can use to uh, maximize the use of these trees. First you're going to need to gather up all the materials you're going to need. Uh, for a three Christmas tree bundle, you'll, you'll need about two concrete blocks to hold them in place, and some coated wire to attach the trees to the blocks, uh, a drill to drill through the bases of the trees, and a little flotation to help hold those trees upright in the water. first drill through the base of the tree allows you to run some wire around there and attach a, a concrete block for weights, as you can see here. This allows us to weight the bottom of the tree, and then with a little extra flotation, we can then stand this bundle of trees upright in the pond to provide maximum uh, fish attracting ability. If preferred, Concrete can be poured into the block around the base of the tree uh, to provide the extra weighting and to secure the tree, rather than wire, although wire should be less expensive. Here you can see we've added a little closed cell pool noodle to add some flotation to hold these trees in an upright position once the trees are deployed. Had we wanted to deploy these horizontally, we could have used some weights at the top of the tree to hold them uh, down on the bottom of the pond. With the weights and the flotation attached, the bundle of trees is now ready to be deployed. I recommend placing them in about four to six feet of water and where they can be fished directly from shore or from a fishing pier. Uh, of course, place them in an area where they could be easily augmented by adding either more trees in the future or other structures that can be added to this uh, group of trees. These bundles of Christmas trees simply don't last very long. The small uh, uh, leaves and twigs quickly decompose, and so you really need to be able to add other materials to them through time to really get the most out of these fishing reefs. So in summary, Bundle up a group of trees, three and four at a time, uh, and use at least a couple of blocks for each three trees. Use some coated wire to hold those together, or you can use some concrete. Add some inexpensive flotation if you want to keep those trees in an upright position, or weight the tops of the trees. Place those bundles in four to six feet of water, and then be prepared to augment those trees two times. For all the pond management literature available from Alabama Cooperative Extension, please visit www.aleaarn.info or you can contact your local county office for more information. Thank you.